I never got hooked on that shit. That's why I didn't even know who this Master Boo bitch was. <laughs> you know? I didn't like 3 6 Mafia like that. No, I didn't like them. You know? They had some, they had some, some shit. shit. shit like, they had some dope little beats. Yeah, yeah but but a lot of that shit was, you. but a lot of that shit was Big Money. Big Money, bro. That's what, that's what had you yeah. pumping that shit. Yeah. 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 Hey, but the, you know, in the system, when that shit used to pound, you'd be like, damn, because you yeah. had demons on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you coming to the knowledge of the truth, you got to clean all that up. And that vibration just yeah. didn't feel good or sound good yeah, to you. Know, I didn't even, I didn't even really think about it, and, you know, until I came to the truth, like, 3-6. Oh, I, I, I didn't, was wrong. I didn't know. I, you know, I just thought, yeah. you know, it was the fucking name. It used to be triple six. Triple six, six yeah, yeah. They, 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 you know. I remember uh, when they, wow. they had a TV show right before yeah. they got mainstream. When I, I was coming, I think it, uh, they had a TV show on MTV. MTV or something. Yeah, it was like a reality show. Yeah. That, yeah. that was after they won that. Uh, Grammy for no, that. no, they won a motherfucking Emmy. Emmy, yeah, 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 for that, yeah. that yeah, hustle yeah. slow shit. Yeah, Oscar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oscar, whatever. Yep. So when they when they did that and it went mainstream, I was like, eh. I was already starting to come into the shoot and waking up and shit. And so uh, I really ain't into that no more. And the music was changing anyway, becoming more mainstream. So anyway, long story short, a lot of uh, people that was getting deeper into that vibration, I started fading away from it, okay? A different, uh, more mature type of music Jake evolved into. But but a lot of the younger people were getting heavier and heavier into that. And now other groups was experimenting into those types of vibrations, yeah. sounds, and uh, uh, frequencies even. Okay, because was a, I'm telling you, like a lot Man, of that shit, like a lot yeah. of Gucci Man, a lot of Rick Ross, some of that beats kind of had that. The yeah. fucking trap music yeah. came out yeah. around that time too. And when, when when a lot of niggas left from uh, 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 New Orleans and went to these other cities, a lot of that vibration carried right over also. Okay. Right. Yeah, that, that's like what these niggas rap about and content. It's all wickedness. Yeah. You know? At the end of the day, when you, when you speak certain people, certain <laughs> things, that usually comes back home. Whatever vibration yeah. your music is, that vibration is going to follow you. Right. All right? Yep. Was that in Proverbs 18 about how the lips, the lips of a man is, is a snare to a soul? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Like a lot of these rappers that had dropped dead, you don't think them niggas was on a record? Prior to, to getting uh, smoked, right. talking Same about smoking a nigga, yeah, smoking a pack of whoever, yeah, that's what they, that's what they rapping about. You, you what nigga that they shot up? What what nigga they spun the block on? Yeah. What nigga that they you know smoked at the club or you know, or, you know whatever, man. Yeah, who woman they who committed woman adultery they with? You're literally attracting death to yourself. Yeah. You know because. By being proud and boasting of those evil things, oh, you're creating enemies that aren't there. Yeah. You, you're literally creating enemies. People that, it, it'll create a, a spirit of vengeance will come upon your ass, man. For real. Now you're looking for a, a cause. You know, you, you like, because it's that negative nigga, dark energy. Wrong. Well, you know, so there the is uh, something called backward masking. Ah. Where you play the work of yes. backwards, yep. and actually in the real vibration, vibration is worship. Bone thugs and harmony, and there's a lot of that stuff. Yeah. 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 But your mind picks it up, though. Your yeah. subconscious, yeah. subconscious, your subconscious mind picks it up. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, I came into that, uh, to the truth. I was listening to that, figuring that shit out the truth about the, uh, the music. Who was the guy's mm -hmm. name? Craig G. Lewis. Craig Lewis. Yep. Yeah. I, I heard some of his yeah, stuff, yeah. and he that was, was part of it too. Thugs, yeah, slow mo like he played uh, uh, Queen. Was it Queen? Uh, uh, the one that did um, I can hear it backwards, but I don't think of the song. Uh, uh, bass backwards and said, "I want to smoke." Mar um, another one bites the dust. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that is a marijuana song. I want to smoke yeah. marijuana. Oh, wow. Is uh, what it says backwards. So you start listening to some of those things, you start hearing yeah. the, the the negative vibration that that comes. When you hear the song backwards, and so those subliminal uh, messages, right? Like even um, like so the Britney they, Spears they song. Did that rock and roll, uh, like, it was only in their oh, music at first, but but now Rihanna got it in her shit, and yeah. fucking Beyonce. Neo, Beyonce, it's all in the music now. I can only imagine the shit now. Yeah, I got it. It's all, it's all part of the enchantment. <laughs> right. It's enchantment. Got Jake on that. Wicked vibration, whatever brothers ready. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, 
and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yep. You say song, like yeah. songs were literally lyrics mm -hmm. that you would praise the Heavenly Father with. Yeah. And, and, and you go even back to the original uh, uh, rap music and stuff like that, it were messages and songs that, that we had to hide from the slave master <clears throat> to, to privately keep our customs and, and, uh, and, and praise our God. Yeah. Now, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. we're, we're still doing the same thing, but our God has changed into the fucking devil. Yep. Giving homage to Satan. Yeah. 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 Old vibrations. Old vibrations is satanic. Man. That's why the, the Heavenly Father is going to have to turn off that, that radio. Have He's going to have to turn off the they music. They don't lose their fucking you know? mind, bro. Yep. That shit got to go. Yeah. God, this is uh, Job 4, and I'm, uh, I'm re 8. It says, Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. That's the point. Put, put one precept after uh, on top of that. Proverbs 18, and uh, starting at 20, it says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the food of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, oh, shit. and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, you you putting out that vibration, you you speaking it into life. Other Jake listen it, listen to it, and it puts a demon on them to want to go and kill, commit murder. Appreciate it. That shit's gonna come back to you. Hey, you know, I don't know if anybody into like you know, anybody remembers what uh, Vanessa Williams. The, the, the actress slash singer, you know, the singer, you know, right? She dissed Pac after, right after he died. She dissed him. I thought it was a diss, she but it was a diss to him, yeah, right? Yeah, you know what she said? She said, well, you know, Tupac just died. He got shot nine, whatever, how many times in Vegas, and he just died, right? She said, well, you reap what you sow. Well, I was like, what, bitch? <laughs> Thinking about it, no, this nigga brought all kind of violence yeah. in his music. Yeah, man. To the to the forefront on Jake's He mind. was the main nigga talking about uh, his own death. Yeah. 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 That nigga was begging for, for to, to, yeah, to, to something yeah. to happen. Yeah. 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 All them niggas. Yeah. 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 Biggie started doing the same shit. Yeah. Life after, you know, ready yeah. to die and all that. Yeah. 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 Then them niggas both awesome. end up dead. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It is James 3 and uh, 4. It's like a James 3 and 5. Even so the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Yep, the tongue. Yep. yep. The shit you say, man. Like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, how, how did that, that elementary saying go? Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Shit. Right. Words hurt way worse. You'll heal from the yeah. people that won't heal. From, from words. Yeah, from what's been said. You know, but you're here from sticks and stones. Hey, and the opposite. Uh, uh, words actually have healed us. Yeah, right. The words of your how about Shemel Shah have healed us. That's how powerful words are. The same book that people read and can pervert it and it takes them down a darker path, it has woken up the elect and healed the, the elect. Yeah. Well, so a little bit. Oh. Yes, yeah. yeah, so one more uh, verse. It reads, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. And that was it. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 28 and 17. The stroke of the whip maketh marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh the bones. Mm -hmm. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This, 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 the rap music, that, it gives you the platform to destroy yourself. Yeah. yeah. And why, why did they remember that uh, uh, crazy boss said he had that they had that secret meeting, right? Yeah, kind of. Why was that secret meeting so important? Because it took you from, from conscious rap and all this other stuff, you know, that shit was off. It took our people from trying to do some good. For one another and for each other and trying to pick up each other with the X clans and whoever else. Right to now to the point where uh Jake started getting to that that that, that uh, uh gangster rap. Right? And now look how far far Jake is now. Fucking drug rap. Yeah. Trap uh trap trap music, you know? Yeah. Drill drill. drill, drill. drill. Yeah. That, that's all wicked and demonic, it man. It was gangster rap, it was trap music. It was, it, was, it was like at first it was conscious. 
yeah. with the, you know, fight the power and public enemy and shit. Back it up, broken yeah. glass everywhere. You yeah. go back that far. They had a you better. Tell them about the, the bad conditions yeah. they lived yeah. in. They had a better message yeah. in the eighties, early early nineties. You know, hip hop was. They had a more positive message at least. But then, he, you know, he, he's like, nah, man, we got, we got to turn this shit into a, a song where they can destroy themselves. Yeah. You know, yep. and we're gonna fund it. Yep. We're gonna uh, uh, come up with these record deals. That was part of the, uh, the secret councils of the week. Yep. Yep. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that right yep. They had councils about how they were gonna turn hip hop out into what it has become. Yeah, man. They knew how much money it was gonna make from it. How yeah. many how many uh, lives was gonna be uh, influenced by it? Yeah. Hey, and they had the, the back end of that to make money off of it. How? The prison oh. industrial complex. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, and they and they owned all the publishing companies. They know owned all the um, the, the, the MTVs, the BETs. The, they owned all the platforms. So they were gonna they were gonna always make the lump sum of the money. Yeah. And and you know it's it, a win win. It, yeah, it's a win win. You destroy a nation. At the same time, you profit off of it, yep. mm -hmm. you know, and then you use the people of that nation. You buy them out mm -hmm. that, that can see what's going on, yep. and then you know you, you got you got you got both sides. Where yep. you got a spokesman for you that you know. Okay. Take that shit to the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Esau knew exactly what they was doing with this whole rap rap music shit, man. But, but, it, it just, it, basically destroy our people. But they actually went and had a, a meeting with and, and what was all in, what was all involved in this meeting? Like if you think about the overall original meeting of uh, what the, uh, the overall meeting of what they were doing, they, they went to the church houses, they put that around, they went to the liquor stores, they put that around, they went to the tobacco industry, they put that around, went to the drugs, they put that around. Yeah. All of this recipe, then you let them start then you put the gun store, liquor store, gun store they had that recipe in the recipe. And they had the music fueling the recipe. Then they had the games. They had then they had the poverty. You can't get job. All of this was a recipe of our people for disaster. And during that time, what did they do to combat it? To, to attempt to try to combat it. What's the lady's name that said? Uh, 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 came at Snoop Dogg uh, about uh, rapping. Yeah, yeah, Tucker. yeah. yeah. Tucker. And was it? Uh, well, I don't want to say it was Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters. Ma Ma Maxine, Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters. They they came. And, and what did that do? It brought more attention. Yeah, to, to, to the rap music and make people want it even more because they like Snoop, they like Tupac. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna listen to it more. So it's just they were just control opposition. Because you gotta understand Esau got the Esau has the power and the resources to put it into all of this shit. Yeah. They can they can they can shut down all the streams and say, you listen to rap music, your ass going to jail for 10 years. Yeah. And because they are they're in power, it would happen, but we we know that's not gonna happen. Wait, oh, just to say that they got the power to, to, to do that. Hey, since we're in the era of, of cancel culture and everything's hate and everything offends and everybody, you know, everybody's complaining about something. I mean, how come, how is that not hate speech? Right. How is that not, you know? How is that not anti-Semitism? Exactly, right, bro. Right. <laughs> right. I got a trip right there. Psalm uh, 83, I'll, uh, I'll start at one, yep, it says, Keep thou not silent, O power your house. Hey, and he has it, because now that new song is being uh, uh, broadcasted, okay? The real the real music is being broadcasted, the, the, the gospel is really being preached. Not that old church house gospel, the real good news of that we're getting the fuck out of captivity, man, this any day now, so to speak. I got a, I got a quick one. Quick hit, and then I go right back. Thus, Ecclesiastes 7 and 5 says, It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. And that, and, and that's, that's more of what we're, our song is about, rebuking Jake to, to repentance. That's in that the song. Can, right, it's in no. the song. It's a, it's a heavy lyric in the song that Jake has to repent. And clean himself up, but what are they saying? What are they pushing in the song of fools? What are they pushing in, in, in uh, mainstream music? Degeneracy, man. That's yep. all Further across sin the and board. And That's across, across the, the board. board, from the churches, from the churches to these fake Israelites, mm -hmm. to you rap niggas. Yep. You all singing the song of fools. Yeah. It's crazy because 
the Lord said that, you know, you, you, you sit before